How's it going? Andrew with Taylor Electronics and Automotive here in Midland, Texas. Today we're going to be unboxing an ESOP welding power supply for you. It is the Rebel EMP 205 IC ACDC. I know that's a lot to say, but I promise it all matters. It is a true all process welder. It can MIG, it can stick, and it can TIG, including AC TIG for aluminum TIG welding. Uh, you can get this here from us. Uh, we also offer all ESOP brands, including their consumables, stick welding electrodes, spools of wire, whatever you need, we got you covered. So let's get started. All right, let's see what's in the box. You know, even if things aren't for me, when I get a box on my front doorstep, here at the shop, I'm like a little kid when it comes to opening. So excited. I just can't wait to see what's inside, even if I already know. Awesome. They give you plenty of foam. I'm sure this will come into play later. I don't mean to bring up Russia, but it's like those dolls inside of a doll, only it's a box inside of a box. Inside of a box. Concealed by another box. And that's pretty. Keeping it fresh. We do a lot of uh, welder repair here at Steel Electronics and Automotive. And in my opinion, ESOPs usually have the more robust semiconductors in it. Now I'm talking, you know, IGBT power modules, rectifiers. It just seems to me they're a little bit beefier. until you're the one that's allowed to put them on there. There's your manual and start guide few different drive wheels, a USB that contains your manual, here's your stick electrode clamp, and this is where you put your big beautiful spool of wire to just lay it down.
now let's open the accessory box. Did not skimp on the tape. This box might be more tape than box. Here's the MIG gun. Comes with a Tweco Fusion 180. Pretty good MIG gun. You can also get this from us. Comes with an ESOB sheet metal gauge. Thickness gauge. gas cable comes with a spool of OK Aristorod 12.5 in 030 here's your power adapter kit to take it down to 120 dual voltage machine here your ground clamp Here's your foot pedal control. Your flow meter. Of course, it's a Victor. Why would it be anything else? Victors are the ruler of the plane. They're the experts in gas regulation. And here is your TIG torch, it's a 17 style, and it comes with a full assortment of TIG consumables, different size tungsten electrodes, tall and short back cap, a five, six, and eight cup, as well as collets you need for these different size tungsten electrodes. Comes with a small pack of Sherweld 6013. It's a little sample pack to let you run it. You can always get more from us. Take the uh, foot pedal out of the bag, give you a little bit better look at it. Here's your foot pedal right here. It's a uh, pretty cool, pretty sleek little design. It's got anti-slip on the bottom and grip tape on the top. Got your ESOB logo on it. I have a feeling a lot of people will be pleased at the feel of it. It's a big thing to a lot of TIG welders, the feel of their foot pedal. Well, that's everything that comes in the box. This thing is ready to plug in, set up, and get to welding all day, every day. Uh, if you'd like to know more about this machine, you can give us a call, hit us up on Facebook, email us. We can get you any one of their welding power supplies. We can get you any one of their consumables, MIG wire, TIG rod, stick electrodes, anything you see here, we can definitely get you or repair for you. Uh, that's another thing about us as an ESOB warranty repair facility. You buy something from us, we fix it for you. Everything breaks eventually, I promise.
I figured we'd do a little video on the machine turning on for the first time. Here we go. Got the fans a roaring. Okay, one of the coolest things, one of the things I wanted to show you guys, you get your user manual right here on the machine. There's no need to pull out a book. It's all here. You got where parts so you know what part numbers to order. You've got the actual user manual and maintenance. Operating the machine. I mean, it's all right there for you. That's one of the coolest things. Uh, you got settings, DC TIG, AC TIG, stick welding, flux core, MIG, and S MIG. That's Synergic MIG. Pretty cool. On S MIG, Synergic MIG, you press the button in right here and it'll take you and ask you what size wire you're welding. And then it's gonna ask you what thickness steel you're welding. Let's go back home. That's uh, comparable to Miller's auto set feature. It tries to take the error out of new welders not knowing exactly how to set up their machine. It's a really good feature to have when you just need a body laying a bead. Uh, in my opinion, it's it's a lot nicer if, if you can pay somebody that knows what they're doing to actually set the machine up and know when it needs to be changed. This is all your MIG. Flux cord. It tells you to check your polarity. Interesting. Stick welding tells you to disconnect. Okay, you have an AC TIG parameter guide here. And this thing just basically, man, all you got to do is read. And it, it'll tell you how to set the machine up. Perfect. Setup guide, 2T, 4T guide. It's all pretty self-explanatory, pretty user-friendly. Everything is controlled from right here, except your voltage and your amperage slash wire feed, depending on the mode you have it in. Really great little machine. One more cool thing that I thought I would highlight about this machine is these nifty LEDs under the hood. You wouldn't think, oh, it's amazing that there's little LEDs there, but it is. Having light is so valuable. This little guy right here is a stopper. Depending on the type of spool you have, you'd put it in this hole or put it in this hole. We're just gonna throw it in here but it grabs the spool and keeps it spinning for you. Just thought I'd let you know that. But yeah, the lights, super, super awesome. I dig it. Don't know another machine that does it.